Hare Krishna. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I will share how I became a Hare Krishna and how my journey started with Krishna. So this all began last year only when in the beginning of the year, I was having a really hard time with myself. I was having a rough patch. Um, my self-confidence had dropped. My self-esteem had dropped. The people around me were not so positive. So I decided that okay, I'm gonna give up on this social media world and I will stay away from it. I will not really engage with toxic friends or anything. Maybe I was the toxic one. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, I maintained my distance and I was like, okay, I want to be with myself for a while. So when I started, when I finally del deleted everything, when I started that, okay, I'm gonna be away. I still needed something, right? And uh, I had have uh, as in I had Gita for Bhagavad Gita for a very very long time, but I never really thought of reading it. I think maybe two years ago or something, I picked it up. I tried reading it, but you know, when there is not time for you yet, you will not understand it. The the time has to be there. The Krishna's blessing has to be there. A lot of things have to work out together in order for you to be in this path, right? So last year, I decided that, okay, I'm gonna start reading and everything worked in my favor. So I picked up the Gita and I still remember the first feeling when I picked it up and just opened the page. That was the beginning of this journey. I had no clue about, I just thought that, okay, this is, you know, this is a holy book in our religion and like, it is a big book that these are the only things I knew. I was like, okay, this is a holy book. This is a big book and that's it. I didn't really actually know much. I knew that, okay, there's the Lord Krishna plays a big role in this. I knew about Mahabharata, like our Etihas, our great epic. But then I didn't really know much about it. I knew that okay, there is Arjuna, there is Krishna, there is Mahabharata in Kurukshetra, but only from like upar upar se ki knowledge, like from up above, like not really like in the depth of what it really is. So um, I picked it up and I started reading. So in the beginning, I thought that okay, I just read it like a book. And at the same time, I was reading other books as well. I was reading Creativity by Osho and a couple of others as well. I like to read like two, three at once. So I would just keep the Bhagavad Gita along with other books. You know, I didn't really know that you have to pay a lot of respect. And that comes from within only. When, when you realize that the knowledge that you are getting from this is <laughs> nowhere else. That's when you are like, okay, I bow down. Last year when I picked up the Bhagavad Gita, I didn't really have much expectations from it. I didn't know that I will get so attached to it that I will never keep it back. I will. I didn't know that I will keep reading it until now. So like even right now, every day I have to read 10 shlokas of Bhagavad Gita. And that's how I begin my day. It's such a, an important part of my everyday routine that I am really close to it. So when I began, I only treated it like a normal book and I was reading every day, a little bit, a little bit. And I was reading Bhagavad Gita as it is by Srila Prabhupada. So the beginning was okay. I, uh, it was really new and I, I was still reading it like a spectator. Like I didn't think that I will get so involved with Krishna and but then eventually i think maybe even before halfway maybe around fourth chapter i felt like i want an image of krishna close to like in front of my eyes so at that time i was really learning how to sketch and stuff so i decided that okay i'm gonna make an image of krishna and i will put it on my wall so that was the beginning of my journey with uh, Bhagavad Gita and then I was like okay I put it on a wall but I don't like it there so I put it on my cupboard 
and after a point I was like okay I, you know I also want to do agarbatti and dhup bharti to this this all came naturally and I did that to that image that I made then when the th when things got better last year with the situation I went to uh, close by mandir close by temple and there were shops um, for like you know holy things so I got a small picture of Krishna and then I kept going like then after that I got to know about Ekadashi so I started put uh, you um, I started keeping Ekadashi fast so I'm doing Ekadashi since last year every time and it's been great I'm so thankful to it because I feel so good I feel so close to uh, even in general I always feel close to Krishna but on Ekadashi I'm like oh I want to be closer I get flowers, I <laughs> give like special attention. Um, so yeah, I did Ekadashi. I, I then Janmashmi came, so I didn't know anything about Janmashmi either. So I went to the temple shop, and then some people were buying like clothes and um, jewelry. So I was just seeing what people are buying. I was asking the shop guy like, what all should I buy? So I decorated my little place um, and. Yeah, it's been so beautiful after that I will keep uploading more things that I learned from Krishna and the more lessons I learned from Bhagavad Gita, how it has changed my life. This is just like an introduction how it got introduced and last year, last thing I would like to share, last year I went to Vrindavan and wow, what a great feeling. I really, really, really love Vrindavan. So this year, even this year, I'm like, okay, I want to go there. I want to make vlogs, I want to be there for longer and you know just be in that vibe of Krishna Nagari. <laughs> and I got my Tulsi Mala from there. So yeah, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Hare Krishna.